guys and welcome back to The Genius Life. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make almond milk using a milk maker. So let's get right into it. So here are the things that you're going to need. A nut milk maker. I personally have the Soy Bella, but there are a bunch of different ones online. I got mine on Amazon. You can go through and see which one you like the best. But I'll also leave a link in the description box below so you can check out the Soy Bella. In my personal opinion, it's the best one out there. I have tried others and I would definitely recommend this one. Remember to subscribe and like this video for other videos just like this one. Also, comment and share it with a friend. So, the reason why I like the Soy Bella is because it has a large stainless steel chamber for holding lots of milk. It also has multiple functions and it's really fast to use. So the things you'll need are a soy bala or any other nut milk maker, salt, vanilla, honey, a measuring cup, raw soaked almonds, a ladle, a strainer, two bowls, water, and jars. So let's go ahead and grab our raw soaked almonds. I usually use about two to three cups. Even though the directions call for one cup, I really love rich and creamy almond milk, so I'm gonna go ahead and put three cups in this one. We're gonna add the head unit onto the milk screen. You're gonna need to securely place it and latch it in tightly. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab the water and pour about 0.8 to 1.3 liters. Closer to 1.2 would be perfect. When you look, you'll see it's about three quarters of the way there. Now, we're gonna grab our head unit and secure it tightly onto the stainless steel chamber. Ensure that it's all the way down or it's not gonna work. Then go ahead and press the mill button and that's gonna run for about 10 seconds. So now let's detach our head unit from the stainless steel chamber. You're going to have a lot of dripping milk here, so just go ahead and shake it off a little bit. So now we're going to grab a bowl and hold the head unit over the bowl and use that as a no mess solution to detaching your head unit from your milk screen. So you have two options here. You can either save the almond grinds for a baked recipe, or you can actually just toss it. I'm gonna be lazy here and just get rid of it. So now we're gonna clean our milk screen and blade. I'm gonna be using this again, so I'm just using lukewarm water to rinse it off. However, if this is your only batch, use soap and water while avoiding the plug area to clean it off. Now you're going to detach your plug from the stainless steel chamber and pour the milk through a strainer into your bowl. You want to make sure you're not squeezing any of that foam through your strainer. You're just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. So now we're gonna use a spoon to skim the foam off of the top of the milk. You do not want this in your milk, guys. It's going to make it go bad faster than you know, then you want it to. It should last you about three to five days, by the way. So just make sure you get as much of this foam off as possible without wasting any milk. So let's go ahead and sweeten it. Take between a quarter to half teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, as well as two to three teaspoons of vanilla. And finally, two to three tablespoons of honey, which you can all find in your local home goods or Whole Foods Market. Just get it right in there and stir, 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 guys. A lot of stirring. Make sure you don't waste a drop. Get it all out of that ladle. All right, so let's taste test. Nah. We're gonna add a little bit more in this case. So just keep going back and forth until you get it right. Now grab your ladle and pour the milk through the funnel and down into the jar. If you need to do this over the sink, go ahead just so you don't make a big mess. I usually do this over the sink, by the way. 
So this whole process takes about 10 to 20 minutes depending on how many batches you're going to do. In this case I made three batches and it took me about 20 to 25 minutes. So just make sure you allot enough time and enjoy. Alright guys, so that's how it's done. Uh, not only does the soy bella make almond milk, it makes soy milk, you can actually make porridge, you can grind your coffee beans in here, you can make soup, it goes on. Um, I love this thing, I've had it for about two months now and I I have no issues. The Actually the only thing that I would say is it would be better if we can detach the laid from the actual head unit so that you're able to clean that easier and you know it makes for a better process but other than that it's a really good system so thanks for watching like comment subscribe and let us know what you think see you next time